Okay, now we're going to get into, um, log into your page here. And we won't do the plug-in for Facebook. I have a video on that one. If you do create a Facebook page, you should add a thing to like you on Facebook. And I, interestingly, I assumed that most of you had a professional page. Why would I assume that from your last web pages? How many of you had the, had the Facebook symbol on your page? Several of you. So if you are using that Facebook symbol, it should go to a professional, not a, five, uh, not a private Facebook page. Does that make sense? How many of you tweet? Okay, one. How many of you follow anybody on Twitter? One, two, three, okay. I, I know I shouldn't refer to them as twits. I am a twit. But I, I have a Twitter feed. Um, I only have 13 people following me. I, the only reason I have a Twitter feed is because I found a way to make Drupal, you know, I made YouTube do it automatically. It's in my settings for YouTube. Anytime I publish anything, it goes directly to my Twitter feed. So if I had to do it, I wouldn't, but it's do happening in the background. So that's another good way to generate interest for your site. How about video? Do you think video is a good way to drive people to your site? Do you think YouTube is a good way to drive people to your site? Who owns YouTube? Google, do you think that video is a good way to drive people to your site? Yeah. You'll find searching on me and my videos come up more than anything else on me. Okay, let's talk about um, plugins. Oh, this is my Facebook button plugin. It has recommended plugins here. Um, just go to regular plugins, not the one that's installed. In plugins, it starts with this one. That's a way to protect your blog from comment spam. It's a good one to activate. I deleted Hello Dolly. It was just showing things, how things worked. I can, if I want to get rid of this, to get rid of one, I deactivate, and then I delete it, and delete all the files and data. And then, if I were to go back to my page my Facebook buttons are gone. Now to add plugins, you're going to choose Add New. I want to do one that you guys are all going to potentially use. So type in Portfolio. And search your plugins. Now there is a bunch of options out here. There are thousands of free plugins and even more that you pay for. I want you to pick one of these. In fact, I'm going to have you guys all pick the same one that I've played with. The Creative Portfolio, it's about three quarters of the way down if you scroll. This is the one that I've played with yesterday and have a video tutorial on. So if you want to pick the creative portfolio and choose install now, I'll show you how to use a plugin. For your final project, you will be required to install at least one, but you could install more plugins. I recommend that if you decide to create a professional Facebook or LinkedIn page, that you create a plugin that will link back to it. Then you can activate your plugin, and it's now available. I'll give everybody a minute to do that. Is installing a plugin hard? No, it's really easy and they work really well. This is a lot easier than Drupal. And you'll notice that it adds a new control over here on the left hand side for me. Now with this portfolio, and I created stuff and deleted it yesterday, didn't delete all the files, um, it creates a series of portfolio posts for me. They act as posts. And when it creates it, it will let me have 
links to each separate portfolio page I have with previous and next. And you can categorize them and you can use the, this didn't turn out that well, picture and you can put different media in here. So let's add a page to that. So for portfolio, choose add new. Was everybody able to get it installed? Anybody need help getting that installed? Okay, so you're going to enter a title. I'll just put one in on Eli. You can put it in on whatever you'd like. This is just something I happen to have in my media, port my media files already. And you'll notice you have multiple options in here. So you can say something. You can add media like you normally would. And I'll see if I can remember. Okay, I can't find Eli's YouTube channel. He's got one, but I can't remember what it is. You can also add videos. And I'm going to show you two different ways to add videos. You don't have to do it, but I want to show you how. So I have this video that I created last night of how to edit images on WordPress that surprisingly 26 people have already seen. Um, to add it, the easiest way is to choose share. And you can simply in anything that you have, any WordPress page or post, you can just put the link in. That's all you need to do and it will actually show you the video. preview changes and you'll see it'll drop the video right in there for you. So adding YouTube video is brilliantly easy to WordPress. But this is a not a normal post. It has another option for adding video. Now for featured video it wants you to use the iframe code. So for that you would choose the embed option from YouTube. Copy and paste and you can use featured video as an option with this. So several of you are in Sean's video class for that section you would want to do featured video. So I think Rose you've taken the video class yeah. or you're in it and Nick you're in the video class. You definitely want to use that feature. Do you guys post yours to YouTube? I'm starting to. That's, well, YouTube channel is free. It's part, uh, it's part of your uh, Google account. That's the easiest way to do this. And then you can put extra settings. Subtitle. And then you can put in a custom URL. Eli. And then I can update. You also have options here for screen options. What you're going to show on screen. And how many columns. So I'm going to preview my changes. And you'll see that it's in here and it shows the video twice because I put it in twice. That's my, um, this one should be the one that I did for the email where I put in the iframe and this is the one where I just put it in. 
Was everybody able to create a page for the portfolio? Okay, one last thing, go into your dashboard again. Go to plugins. This one I haven't tried, so hopefully it'll work. We're gonna choose add new. And you wanna type in Google Analytics. And so you can install Google Analytics. My account is for the maryhelp.net so that I'm not gonna act it, I'm not gonna actually put in the information. It'll tell you to activate it and then you can go to the plugin site to figure out how to set it up or go to edit and figure out what you need to put in. Usually if it's something like this, I recommend that you go to their site to get the directions of how to use it.